Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Hex Rogue, a game that I am oh so curious and excited to check out here today. The game is a turn-based tactics roguelike that seems slightly inspired by the arena survival roguelike genre and potentially slightly inspired by like a Settlers of Catan as well. All of this has me with more questions than answers and this <laughs> this menu, this title screen does not clear any of them up. So I, I think we're gonna have to just pop on in to truly figure out what is going on here today. But this could be a gem. This could be a hidden gem. We don't know. Let's go find out. Apparently their arrival has wakened the evilness a powerful enemy that will appear after 24 turns. Let's build villages and be armed before it comes. I'm down. The enemy bases on the map spawn enemies after a certain number of turns. Some hexes around the enemy bases will be cursed. You cannot move onto or attack the cursed hexes. You can attack and destroy the enemy bases to get resources and get rid of the curse. Okay. At the start of your turn, your AP displayed at the bottom of the screen. Bottom of your screen will be restored to its maximum. The maximum value of AP will be increased when you hit level 10 and 20. You can move or attack by tapping a hex with a number. You can take an action such as build by clicking the buttons on the right side of the screen. Build road, build mine. Buildings built on the map can produce resources or attack enemies. Available building options vary depending on the terrain type, which you can right-click a hex to check. Okay, so we're on a mountain, which can produce a mine or a weapon workshop. Okay, uh, so what do we want to do? It takes, we have five, uh, oh my god, we have five action points. It takes three to build a mine. Harvest gives us 15 Spend all of your AP to gain 15. We can get three every single turn, which seems like a good call to me. This music, wait, what? <laughs> Buildings that produce resources will take effect each turn. They will not be attacked by enemies. Okay, build a road. Build a road to reduce the cost of movement and attack on that hex by one. Does that take the place of that? I mean, like, okay, so it takes us two to move. So what the hell? You have five health, attack for two. You move by three. What on earth, man? Okay. Move two, attack two. Gate one spawns enemies every three turns. I'm gonna I'm gonna move here and maybe we'll build something. We'll build a village that attacks adjacent enemy units or a farm. Okay. Oh, when you say move three, you mean like the same as me. You have three movement capability. You have a move of three, meaning you can move. This is, okay, this is neat. Move two. You have three movement. You can move in one space. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, well, what the hell do I want to do? Part of me wants to build a village and get ready. I could build a village and then, like, I don't really want to move towards them, so we could do a village. So villages, cities, or fortresses will attack one adjacent enemy every turn. Enemies can also attack these buildings. They take one damage each time, and when their HP reaches zero, they'll be destroyed and it'll return to a normal plane. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that I can build a road on this as well. Building a road on a hex will lower the cost of movement and attack on the hex by one AP. Well, all right. Good at direct attack, try and fight enemies on flat land or hexes with roads where the fight cost is low. Okay. Items will be placed on the map when you defeat an enemy or... Wait. When you defeated an enemy or because of certain events, there's three types of items, and items other than bombs can be obtained by entering their hexes. Items other than bombs. Bombs on the map will explode when their combat counter reaches zero. Characters within the explosion range will either have their HP cut down to one or receive 100 damage, and buildings will take the damage. What the hell? I've leveled up. Oh. <laughs> I've leveled up. Okay. 
Uh, perks can be obtained whenever you reach an even number of levels. Some perks appearance will require having certain perks and prerequisites. I love that system for what it's worth. The kind of like Nova Drift a like aspect. Attack action on terrain that costs 4 AP or more costs 1 AP less. Move on, co on uh, terrain that costs 4 AP or more costs 1 less. Enchantment of dropped equipments is more likely to be better. I mean... How often is this going to help us? I'm going to grab this. Maybe we'll get like a cool enchantment. I'm trying to see what the bomb does. What's the radius? What is the freaking radius of this bomb? Is the radius two? This is important intel, dude. If the radius is two, what does that mean? If it means one, two, then that, that can't be right. That's That'd be ridiculous. Village level two. If we did that, we wouldn't be able to move anywhere else afterwards here. So part of me is thinking I like... Oh my god. Swamp. Brick workshop. I'm going to move here and I guess I'll build a road. And hope to god this doesn't blow up in my face, literally. Oh, okay, okay. Question is if it does damage to them or not. Okay. Uh, wish this was called something else. I uh, But there's that. Okay, so that's going to be getting us three wood each time. Maybe we move. We could harvest to get three. Or restore max HP. I'll move down. Slowly building different buildings around the map. Okay, I'm hoping this bomb hurts the enemies it did okay when an enemy is defeated it may drop a treasure chest you can open it up by moving to the same hex you can get equipment or resources from those chests okay all right so we have five i could build the farm and then I can move back up here because I can't I only have two AP I can't move anywhere else I could harvest I suppose I don't know what I need that material for I'm just kind of assuming I'm going to need that material we really should go down here and uh, bop these at some point all right thank you town Hmm. Armor workshop. I don't have the materials for an armor workshop. We need whatever this is. Obtained from a wildland. Oh, God. That's, we don't have any of that. So we could go one. Two. We don't have enough wood to make another village. Is this the... Uh, this is a village level two. We would need 30 wood. Boy. I'm also curious. So they get to move and attack. Do they have to be near me to do an attack in the first place? Because that changes things. Like, I want to go to that, but I'll go down here. And... No, I'll go, down. I'll go down here. I'll see if I can smack their, uh, their freaking temple. If you could break that, that'd be great. Oh, and we got the person spawned immediately. Five damage. I'm loving that that town we built. So two to attack. We're apparently good at that. Okay. Not bad. So they've been killed. That doesn't mean we've done anything else. We can rest or harvest. There's no point to rest when I am not missing any health. So I will spend all my AP to harvest one. Harvest consumes all the AP left. The more AP spent, the more resources you get. The type of resources depends on the certain terrain you're on. Okay, that town is going to go down, but, like, it's been really helpful. I can't be mad at it. <clears throat> okay, so... Do I have to... I'm going to kill you. And then it's clearly two to go there... 
Level up. We should get a perk now. This is such a wild gameplay loop, but I'm actually really into it. Two AP less when you move into a forest. That's cool. Restore AP when you kill an enemy. Every time you attack, en attack enemies in the same turn, increase your attack by five. Ooh, these are actually like really game-changing perks. These are all the perks that we get. Holy crap, look how many perks we can get. This is, a, this is actually like, mechanically, I'm really excited by this. <laughs> like, oh God, these are all really good. I'm gonna go for combo. Okay. So we kill that. We get all those we get all of those materials immediately. And I guess I'll just harvest because I can't do anything else. What level did we get an extra? Oh, sorry, town. The town's done so much for us though. Like I can't be mad. I want that. What's this? It's a stack of I don't know what that means. I'm trying to hover over it to see what it means. My guess is it's like lots of wood. That's that's the only guess I have right now. Uh, I'm going to move up. Oh, it's like a pack of a bunch of stuff. And then we're going to build another village to hopefully protect the other village. Sort of at this point. I do want this chest, but I wanted to try and protect this town while I could. Oh, here. Oh, he doesn't drop a bomb every time. Okay, good. Oh, he's in a cursed hex. Since he's in a cursed hex, I can't do anything. I can't upgrade the village. I don't have enough wood. I don't have enough wood to make this either. Brick workshop could be good. Ay ay ay. All right, I'm hoping that the town can attack that hex somehow, but I kind of feel like it probably can't. Yeah, the, the town can't either. Armor workshop, spend that to craft armor with. I don't know what the armor. I don't know what armor does for us though. I need more wood. So you're slowly going to be destroying that, which is super frustrating because I can't do anything about it. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. I kind of need to spend all of this here. That's fine. And then I guess we harvest. Maybe we need to be like, I think we need to be putting ourselves in more danger. Like I have, I have the tactical brain of like, don't take a hit. That'd be bad. Okay. We should hopefully attack with both, but I don't know how much damage the unupgraded tower does. Oh, it does five. Wait, what? Oh, I never upgraded it. I don't think. Alright. Big pack of stuff there. We can build a temple. Enchant your equipment on a hex with the temple. Enchantment of equipment is more likely to be better. The equip no, the enchantment of dropped equipment is more likely to be better. Uh this is gonna go down. But I can't I can't attack it. Yeah, I'm putting myself in harm's way. We're gonna go here. Oh, shoot. I thought we had two more. It's fine. Wait, you only do one damage? Okay, this is probably for the best. Because we can, uh, instead of harvesting on a turn, we could end up, like, just resting. This is, are you going to drop a bomb or not, is basically the question I have. No bomb. No problem. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get a little aggro. Equipment you get from chests may have a random enchantment. The rarity of the equipment is decided by the enchantment to change your equipment. To change your equipment... Access the inventory. What the hell, dude? Six attack, one defense? 
Oh my word. I'd rather have five health back than one wool. You can restore a percent of your... Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, this is a really cool gameplay loop. I will... I'm gonna say that for sure. I almost feel like, um... It could be worth it to build a road. Wait, if you attack somebody, is it the what you attack from or where you attack to? That's a really big difference. A movement and attack on that hex. That seems to imply moving to it costs one, right? And attacking to it costs one. Do we science it? It's a big deal if we if we're wrong. Okay. Well, that changes things for sure. You're gonna stay there because you're a little punk. Come down here. Come down. I want you down here and you down here. I doubt it's gonna happen, but that'd be the dream. Yeah. No. And you went down the other way. I I, sh I could have moved here to bait it out more properly, but... Yep, 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 yep. Ooh, boy. I'll take another hit. That's fine. We do a lot of damage now. Just the fact that he's locked in that spot is so rough. We can at least do smack, smack, smack. No, we can do smack, smack. We can't do smack, smack, smack. We can do smack. And then we can break this. And attack on an action. Attack, action, on a terrain that costs four or more. Yeah, experience you gain is increased. I don't know. So basically, it's like moving through a mountain costs a little bit less, is what that is all about. I'm not missing that much. I want to make my uh, my heal next turn a little bit more optimal. If I end up doing it. God, I wish I like put down a road up there. I had to science it out, though. During a turn, bonus enemies or items may appear on the map randomly. Oh, boy. It's a bunch of bombs, huh? Hey, if you curse my town, you shouldn't be able to attack it, right? I'm, I'm, I just, I'm sure that that would not be so kind as to do that. I need to get a lot more roads out. Okay. Yep. Anticipated. It's a lot of bombs. Thankfully, they're not in... Wait, if the bomb breaks, does one damage to that, that kills it, doesn't it? All right. Oh God, I want the loot so bad, too. If I move here, you're going to move up there, and then it's going to ruin my life. So I need to move. I have to move to this one so that my life is not ruined. And then we might as well harvest. Because like, it, it's super annoying. He's going to break that, and there's like not much I can do about it. Okay. Those bombs actually worked out amazingly for us. Holy. They cleared out a lot. That was a, that was a scary event for a second, but it ended up being good. All right. Bang. Let's kill this freaking thing before it spawns another fool. I can't wait until we get one more energy. It's going to change things up a lot. Because, like, if I could put down a road a after my attack instead... That'd be a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, kind of knew that was coming. All of these, like, invincible things that spawned right around my bases just kind of ruined, ruined my life a bit, huh?
you know? Let's clear this out. After we clear this one out, we actually are going to be in a decent spot for a while. Like, I'm going to take a bit of damage, but I think, like I said, we kind of need to put ourselves in harm's way a little bit more for a sec. Before. Do I have a road around here? I don't think I do. I can't wait until I can have a road around here, but like... Oh, a bomb? See, that, look, that's so nice. I need, I need a lot more roads down. All right, I'm thinking, like, build road, move. Oh, wait. Oh, it hasn't... Wait! Can attack enemies within the one hexes. I didn't see that part. I thought that that was just, like, this is what it looks like. I didn't realize that we have something we can hover on. When attacking enemies of the race... Your damage increases by 50%. So, like, undead. Equipment. Equipment. <laughs> um, well, now that I know that, I'm going to give that a shot. I, yeah, I see, I see. That is very nice. That's a big deal. I, I'm sure I could have used that effectively had I known... Okay, this bomb is going to take down... Necromancer 1 has appeared. A boss will appear on the map. The music is just so not fitting for this game. I love it, though. When a boss appears, the enemy bases remaining on the map will be destroyed. Well, they already were. And their hexes will become wildlands. In addition, the number of actions a boss can take with one turn will increase by one every 12 turns. Okay, you are a son of a gun. Trading port? Trade on a hex with the trading port. Yeah, I can definitely see, like, the gentle Catan inspirations here and there. Like, just gentle. Uh, but then, yeah, like, we get the... Oh, the music's gone. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm freaking dead. Man, it's need it's it's just missing like some quacks or like dog barks or like kazoos in there. And then it's like oh my god, this is sending me so much. All right. I don't know what we want to do. I think that like I do think the meta is getting just an exorbitant amount of roads down when we can. Especially with this character. Okay. I mean, we are going to want them dead. Oh, don't, don't get quiet and then loud again. <laughs> Please. If you're going to have this music, just like loop it better. Also, like, wait. I'm definitely... I'm definitely at full resolution. It's just wrong. It's not that it doesn't have my resolution. It's just displaying it incorrectly. Okay. Takes four to get in there. This is where we would want that, like, that movement one down thing. Because then we can move there and build a road on the same turn. Like, that's understandable. I'm going to move move over. Leather armor. Oh, it automatically equips it. Immediately collect all the equipment dropped by... <gasps> the equipment, but not resources dropped by enemies. That's so nice. Uh, I'm going to harvest some of that. Metal. Do I have the bow on? Wait, what are you doing? Can't build a road. I'm out of bricks. I mean, it's literally just a worse thing. Doesn't sound like we get the ability to trash it. Ooh, 
Ooh, wait a minute. Wait up. Oh, you son of a... Oh, wait, you can move and attack at the same turn? Is that what that little passive you have is? Move twice per turn. All right, what do we get? Two level ups. AP after killing an enemy. Uh, attack action on something. Yeah. When crafting equipment in the workshops, you get better quality research. I I'll go for this. I'll go for this. I gang, gang. The the gameplay loop is not bad. It's not bad at all. Like there's some there's some real merit here. God, we need um swamp. We needed to build a a brick. Yeah. A, f a workshop, a brick workshop. Man, man. That is absolutely hilarious though this sound. <laughs> okay. All right, you what's your passive? If you get a vacuum orb, you immediately collect all items placed on the map. Thank God. All right. Attack players instead of buildings. Tell you what, let's go for a double attack here because we can stack it up quite well. If you move to the left, I'll be... Yeah. Yeah, because I can't... I don't have a way to cleanly get more bricks at this point. You know what? How much damage do you do? Like eight. You know what? It's fine. I can kill the Necromancer if I go for this. Polished Longsword. We got it immediately. Oh, we can, we can even uh, leave if we want. I would really like to build on the swamp. But clearly we got a little bit of problems here. Okay, pick that up from before, and then we'll do a little harvest. Just want to make that building. Okay, we do have the stuff for it. Good. So it's only moving and attacking. It's not. It does not recu uh, reduce the building cost, which I think is fine. I'll tell you what, I'm going to just spend a full turn harvesting even more bricks since we clearly have a, a need of them. Okay, this just got wild. What's your passive? Restore 20% of max HP every turn. Okay, first of all, that's an incredible get. We need more roads down so bad, especially with this amazing ranged situation. Twenty. Ah, oh, twenty. Wait, we do three more per. Wait, what? Do you have two armor or something? It says you have thirty-three armor. Whatever that means. Thirty-three armor sounds like a lot. Oh God. Oh right, wait, you're on a road, you dumb dumb. Okay, so we can. We want to attack this one first. We get the kill. We get the energy back. Okay, we get the one back as well. Okay, huge. I'm gonna rest. I think that the range is just better right now than a lot of this other stuff. We could totally, we don't need two of these. If I find out that I can sell these, maybe the trading post could, but also pure longsword. We could, oh man. I don't. I almost don't like the element of, of of it, but like we could min max by like, you know, only um, like changing our weapon based off of who we're attacking. I do not have enough bricks for that still. So part of me is like we need to get over here. If we can do that, then we can attack this from a distance anyways, which is not bad. I do want this chest, but like. Fine. 
we'll, we'll kill this son of a gun here. And then we'll work from there. God, we can double move. If I move here, then I can't attack into the mountain. It, it, like, it'd be a disaster. Oh, and I can't even attack. Can't attack in there. I kind of want to build another village, but it's just... It costs a lot of resources. But it costs a lot of resources that I have a lot of. So I'll do it. And I will rest again. This is gonna hurt. They have they have double attacks. They are they are no freaking joke, man. But now I have my village, it's gonna help me a little bit. What, mate? Okay. Okay, so we're still at five more or less. So I need to be more spaces away from this guy. Shoot. Um, I kind of have to move down here so I don't get hit, or I could rest twice. I guess that's fine, too, because I don't really want to be there as much. You're going to do how much damage to me? 12. I could heal 14. I'd be in a better spot. And then you'll also move on to... You have to move on to this tile to do it, which I love it when they're on that tile, because it's only a one. Oh, he doesn't care. You devil. You little freaking devil. That's right. I prioritize my freaking buildings. I kind of have to get you out of the way, don't I? I get the one back, and I can uh, I can kill that, but you're not going to spawn another one for a moment. And that guy's going to attack my building first. Let's just get that out of here. Get a huge amount of materials gained. Yeah, of course you go to the force. It, it, it makes sense. I can't be mad. It checks out. How much does it cost to build a brick workshop? Three? Mm. Oh, good God. We could, um... Just do a lot more damage with the... Sword up close. But we can't attack twice. This is this is rough. We could move down and attack once. Like I don't love this, but it's a fine spot. We can attack for two here, even though it's a forest. This I'm just happy. It's like, oh god, it's just tanking for me. All right. We're going to want to swap to the sword. Because I think it makes a difference in killing here. Wait, what? If they get a move twice, that m maybe means they can attack twice too, though. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to double rest. Like, I don't... I feel like having roads in the corners or the edges is less valuable. I could be wrong. Ten instead of twelve. I'm really, like... I kind of like that those buildings do that for us. It does help. Oh, we're almost spawning that thing. Oh, Lord. When the boss shows up, those all go away. But we want those... We want to be able to kill those because it means we get more uh, resources. Oh, you're a skull type. Yo. Yo, yo. Uh...
One AP after killing enemy, total two. We could wait. Yeah. So we could swap to the bow. Theoretically attack you twice with uh, our upgrade. Not bad. And then we could build a road here if we wanted to, but I just like, I don't know if we care. Again, like I think we, since we have such limited resources, I think we save that there. All right, sounds good. Nobody landed on that one there. 25, is that how much we did? Please tell me it's 25. Oh, it's 28 now. Womp. Womp. Go down to the bow for potential. Uh, if we can only attack once, then we actually want to go for the move into long sword. If we only get one shot, we want to make it count. Are you a ghost type? No, of course not. All right. Uh, bo 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 bo. Don't really need that. Don't really need that either, though. I wish I could make the like the red dot go away, <laughs> just by going like, eh. I need to, I need to smack that. But the thing is, how do I do this? Because he's gonna come down. He's gonna take three. I can attack, attack. And then I have, t and I could kill, and then I'd have two energy. Two energy to do what? Like, nothing that really matters. I guess maybe I could end up killing that guy. He's probably going to move to a spot that's relevant. All right, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, you smart cookie. You move there. That makes sense. Okay. I feel like I need more resources, but... Yeah, I don't think I one-shot, because he's not a demon type, a ghost, ghosty type. I can... I could move, move, put down a road. I mean, they're going to be coming for me. Like, I want to build that other stuff, too. Don't get me wrong. Can we move here so he doesn't... He's going to move into that spot. That's fine. Oh, boy. I could get this. I could finally grab this. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do that. I don't have the materials to build a freaking road. I'll build a village then. I have plenty. Yeah, I have plenty of that stuff. I'll build a village. And then I'll just... Uh, I'm at full health, so I'll harvest... Oh boy, we're falling behind a bit. I know that there's, to be fair, I know there's lots of like meta progress stuff in the game. So like there's a bit of that. One damage, God, we need that upgrade so bad. Like if, if we want to utilize it. Okay, so you could just do plus 12. Are you getting more armor or something? What the hell? Okay, go inventory, get our bow back. We buffed up our attack a decent amount. But we're not one shotting. Plus two. It's just gonna be a lot of damage. It's 26. It's, it's worth. It's worth. You gonna move down here for me? No! I, I kind of wish I wish you moved down there and then you moved up there. All right. Um, this isn't a kill, is it? Of course not. Okay. It's a damage buff. We can move to the pure long sword. Kill this guy in one shot. Level up. Maybe get a perk. Nope. All right, 
Oof. Dang, you weren't kidding when you said we were a strong combatant. I do want that, but I need to I need to make some moves up here if I want to try and get these in time. Looking unlikely. I'd like to build a road here. Whoop, golem too. Well, there goes those. Oh no. Surviving 48 turns. We're like not even halfway. This runs are so long, man. Womp womp. Get a road down. Move up here. Probably get, end up getting another road down. We're like really good at... So they, they're going to chase me down. They are intending to chase me down. I need to make sure I have a... Right? Because that, that's what this is? Yeah. We'll revive unless defeated within one turn of the other. Wait. Unless defeated within one turn... Wait, we'll revive unless defeated within one turn. I'm assuming within... It could mean within one turn of the other, or it could mean, like, I need to do 87 damage in one turn, which is fine for me, but I could imagine there's another building situation that that just wouldn't work for. Or another uh, build... That, that just... Yeah, that just wouldn't be functional. Um, so you're going to move here. I think I need to... Honestly, I think I need to end here on this tile. I don't need more wool. Yeah, if I need to end on this tile, I... I, I, I like, should I... Do I care about this? I don't know. Sure. Okay. Again, I think we want to end on it one more time because it's going to try and move towards me and attack me there. And then this one's going to be a problem. But that's okay. This is weird. You better move up. Like, if your main goal is to attack me, you have to move here. Okay. It's the law. All right. So now this is going to be spooky. We need to make... Oh, yeah. Hip, hip, hooray. We got the one damage. It might make a difference. Who knows? Let's go for... We got the 12 damage on already. The leather armor we have is... It's the... It's probably the best one. There's no way... Yeah, you're a golem. All right. Oh, God. How much damage do you do? 16. Here's the thing. You are defeated in one turn, but... Oh, you're not... It doesn't count as defeated, though. Okay, so it is totally... You came You came back and resurrected. Okay, so it is within one turn of the other. It kind of feels like that should maybe be, like, phrased out there, but... All right, I still don't have enough... Um... I, I pretty much need them both to be on roads, then. Which sucks, because I don't think I... I'm not going to be able to get enough materials to make that happen. Man. The good news is they're slow as hell, and they revive at 43. They revive at half, so... There is some good news to that. Okay. Get on the roads... Maybe I do need the bricks. We're gonna get three. It take how much does it take? It makes it's thirty to make a road, right? If we move here, you're gonna move there, there. Ooh, mama. There's a freaking Minotaur guy. I think we may have reached the limit of what we are like. No, I'm not gonna say allowed to do, like, because we could have done better. But what I would expect us to be able to do. So if I move here, you're gonna move down because like they have the AI intelligent enough to know to avoid 
being in a, a lower cost tile, you're gonna move down, you're gonna move over because you have, or you can move down, you're gonna move down. You jerk. We need to save our wood. We can't upgrade the village. Not that it would really matter. It seems like it's only doing one anyways. Deal two damage to buildings. That's fine. Harvest some bricks. <sighs> okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to put ourselves in a lot of harm's way here for a sec. I think it's kind of what we have to do is to take a double smacking here. Wait, how much was I doing? Okay, good. All right. This is fine. Kind of. It's peril. The math doesn't check out, though, because we don't... Okay. Okay. Also, you're here. One doesn't count. Two, two. So do we do how much? 11. It's not going to work. Right? 14. It's not going to work. But I can do this. And then I'll move right here. And then it depends who takes that spot. You take that spot. Of course you do. Of course you take that spot. Are you on a road? Wait, is he on a road? Is he on a road? If he's on a road, we can actually do a little bit of... Like, I don't even care if I die at this point. Oh, he's not on a road. Good God. Good God. If I move here, they're going to both try and move here and here, I assume. We might be able to get them next turn. Okay, this is our shot. If we have a shot, it's right now. We have to go melee, melee, bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow. We're buffing up our damage like crazy, but I just can't get in there. I'm going to lose my mind. We need to keep him at two then. We need to keep him at two then. Do we die if we don't do this? Uh, like, here's the thing. We need to keep him at like 10 is, is really the thing. I just, we need to do the math on it. Like, I shouldn't have gone for that extra hit. I should leave him at like two. I'm aware to be clear. Uh, I'm just trying to, because I know we we're about to end the video out. I wanted to get the video, uh, I want to get a little win there. All right, so you're going to do 18 damage. You're going to hit me as well. Yeah. We're defeated. We're defeated. We, we goofed it. We goofed it. We went for the uh, attempted big stuff. All right, so... The good news is we can go, like, one. Wait, why are we doing so much less? Do we switch to our bow still? Yeah, I don't I don't love this, like, switching back and forth mechanic. I don't like that it's allowed because it means that you're going to want to. 14, now we do 16. So we do this, and then we back up into the forest. Oh, come on. The skeleton had to be the one. It had to be the skeleton, huh? Okay. He 
he counts as a, a, a ghoul. Okay, 22. I don't freaking know, dude. Oh, he's on the mountain. He's on the mountain. Of course, he's on the mountain. So I can't do this. I can move all the way down here. Which is okay-ish. Can move. Move. Probably move, move. Right? Move, move, rest. Or if I go here, then you're going to try and go there, there. We need to rest. For sure. Okay. It's fine. Uh, oh! What? Did they gain double movement all of a sudden? Wait, why did they get double movement? That actually was going to work. That's so annoying. I was going to kill them and then I was going to get them with the bow. They just ran, they just got double movement at the end. Fair enough. Alas, alas. Uh, I know I could have done that better. I'm well aware I should have just left them at like five or something. I was getting a little bit greedy uh, thinking that I... I was overvaluing my damage because it was unclear how much defense they had. What do we have here? Oh, God. Oh, God. It's bad. Okay, at least they have this, too. At least they have this to go with it. Enemies will be stronger. I wonder if you get extra rewards in-game with it. More resources at the start of the game. Holy crap. Attack of buildings by a lot. More experience? Sure, whatever. We'll do all that. This game is wild. What, what is this about? So, okay, also, going right makes us go that... Be sure... Spend wood to cast a f uh, to to cast a fireball that uh, does twenty damage. What the heck? Interesting. So we can learn spells. Learn spells by spending resources. So I'd imagine that we these are major perks that replace all of these. Gotcha. So we don't have these right away. We can learn these. So, sorry. To go to, okay. Build and upgrade actions cost one AP less. That's big. See, this is it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. Very cool. This is just off camera. All right. Uh, I really, you know, great combat loop. Great uh, idea. Great. Uh, you know, I I enjoy it. I just really enjoyed it. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. Very wild. There's some jankiness to it, no doubt in my mind. The music is out of like. Abs like absurdly out of place so out of place uh i don't like the meta progress there's so much that i like i little caveats here and there but just the core concept is so strong that i that i recommend it anyways uh and the fact that it's just like dropped just boom shadow drop boom right on steam uh out just done no early access like explained not to say that it won't get updated but maybe maybe it would maybe it won't it's just out now full version uh it's 20 percent off right now if you want to pick it up very curious very curious came out of nowhere and it's it's strange but i think that there's gonna be so many people who really want to play this i think that this is right up lots of people's alleys um mine included even even with the meta progress of it all i still i still enjoy I still enjoy it because it seemed like we could have theoretically scaled better and lasted longer. Oh, that's the other thing. The runs seem way too long. We weren't even halfway done. It was an hour. We weren't even halfway done. That seems a bit long to me personally. Alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. If you want a channel that is going to give a shot to the games that other channels may not give a shot to until I give them a shot, then you're going to want to subscribe to this because... I will check out these games. I will dive in face first, fully ready for a face plant. And sometimes I'll find games like this that are, they, they have a lot more than meets the eye. Uh, very interesting game. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time though. Bye.